Well, guys, Spider-Man got moved to fall 2021, so that's a thing. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I'm Robert Storms. As always, if you're finding me for the very first time, please be sure to click that like and subscribe button. Also, guys, think about joining our Discord. I have it in the description box below or in the pinned comment. It's completely free. We're trying to get to 100 members by the end of Thursday night. So, yesterday or the day before, it was announced that Sony has pushed back Spider-Man 3, the untitled Spider-Man 3, to fall of 2021. Now, that gives us both Morbius, Venom and Spider-Man all coming out in 2021. So is this a good thing, a bad thing? Well, you know, we were talking about this in the live discussion the other night, and it's kind of crazy because we also have, what, two to three MCU movies coming out, two to three DC movies coming out that year. So it's going to be a stacked year for comic books. Is Spider-Man going to do okay in the fall? I think Spider-Man is pretty much going to do okay wherever you put it. I'm more worried about Morbius and Venom. I think Venom 2 will be doing just fine, especially with the new title and the fact that Carnage is going to be involved in it. Morbius, I think... I'm worried about Morbius because, and it's not because I don't like Morbius, and that ain't because I'm not looking forward to Morbius. I think the trailer's fantastic. I wish it was coming out still this year, and I'm actually going to pitch a, a what if it came out this year. Okay, you push Venom back, you push Spider-Man back, why not wait and see what's going on with this whole disaster, and maybe by October, if things start to clear up, why not release Morbius in October of this year rather than wait to next year? I think it's going to be a little too cluttered next year to release Morbius Venom Spider-Man the Eternals, Shang-Chi, and and what other movies that uh, Marvel has in the pipeline. Then over on the DC front, we got like Shazam 2, Black Out. Like there's a lot of movies coming out in 2021. And that's not even counting the other blockbusters that got pushed back, such as, you know, um, F Fast and the Furious 9 and, and all those type of movies. So it's going to be a stacked year, and I don't understand why, why push it push them all back into one clump sum. It basically looks like the dawn of the Spider-Verse coming out in 2021, which is not a bad thing. But I want Morbius to be successful. And I do think there's a chance for it to be successful this year, depending on how things clear up by October. I think throwing, throwing Morbius in October is a, a good idea. And I think it's something that Sony should look at rather than trying to get all their movies out in 2021. I know Sony's trying to do the best for their business, but you know they also have other movies that need to come out, such as Ghostbusters, which is a Sony property that they pushed back to 2021. So you don't want to compete against yourself. You don't want to compete against Disney. You don't want to compete against Warner Brothers. So you want to give yourself some leeway. And I think release of Morbius, depending, again, keyword here, depending if everything clears up, by October, I think releasing Morbius in October is a good game plan. I think it's something they need to do. I think they can use that to lead into Venom 2 rather than wait to next year and go Morbius, Venom, Spider-Man. I mean, I don't know their game plan. I'm just speaking from an outsider looking in. So I don't know the game plan. I don't have, you know, uh, RV Arad up on my cell phone going, hey, hey, what's the plan? Yeah, okay, I'll tell everybody on YouTube because people really don't care. Um, I'm a nobody. I'm just giving you my insight on it, my input put on it and i think having all those movies next year is a little too crowded especially with the market the way it is and all the other movies that are coming out next year and again warner brothers and disney is going to be establishing a, a major comeback next year because of all the stuff that's been going on and wonder woman is still slated to come out this year as of right now wonder woman is still slated to come out this year we don't know what's going to happen by then i'm hoping everything clears up but what happens if god forbid wonder woman gets pushed back we don't know we don't know. Hypothetically here, guys. Hypothetically. But anyway, guys, I wonder what you guys think. How do you feel about Spider-Man moving into the fall of 2021? Do you like the idea of all three of those movies being released in 2021? Or do you think Sony should push for a Morbius uh, 2020 release in October? Be sure to leave those comments in the comment box below. Until next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.